Is this thing on? Are all the cameras aimed properly? Can you see me over there? Yeah, what's happening, my friends? Welcome back to Road Reality. <laughs> ah, I love it. I love playing around with my camera equipment. And making videos for you guys is just a prime example of too much fun drill, Sergeant. I get to have fun riding my motorcycle. I get to have fun editing. And you guys, hopefully, get to have fun watching my random ass videos at 8.30 in the morning on Tuesdays and Fridays. Well, that's at least my release schedule as of recording this video. Will the bike sit still? Hmm, is it gonna slide? We like to do jump offs around here. Oh, I think she's gonna sit. Yeah. So I gave her kind of a, uh, kind of a half-ass bath. I got some bug stuff here you can see. And I got a, uh, I just got it kind of shined up a little bit here. Got the tour pack, the Lego taxi. Hopefully everything's in frame. And hey, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Having things in frame, as well as the length of a video. Cause your buddy John doesn't do just one thing at a time. I gotta be doing at least three. <laughs> go people, go. No, don't go, don't go. <laughs> Whoopsie. The band was coming whether we like it or not. So camera placement. Yes, as you can see, I have one on my fairing. This is a very finely tuned placement, that, uh, that fairing camera. And I also have the one up on my helmet, as you can see now. And it's very important that they be aimed properly. A shout out to Hippo Drone. Way back in the day when I first started doing this, every one of my videos kept going like this. I was like, I want to show more of the sky. Nobody wants to see my bike. Except, except if you have the wrong camera placement, then people lose the fact that you're on a motorcycle to do your vlogs. Or in my case, people may forget I'm just an idiot out on a Harley. And they might think I'm just walking very briskly. I don't know what people really think. You know, at this point, it is what it is, and I'm just gonna run what I brung and insert cliche here. But seriously, I was going way up high, and in a couple of them, I've knocked the camera down too low. Well, if you can see it, and if not, I'll put a picture overlaying it. There's a small rivet or screw cover or something that the front of my Hero 10 just rests upon. Gen gently resting upon the rivet. And I know that's when my camera is properly aimed, at least up and down. And it gives you enough of the sky and it gives you enough of the road and your bike. Now, mind you, if I had a chin mounted camera, that would be very painful, but it would also be here and I'd have to aim it up higher so that you can see anything past the riot shield. So I actually like the camera being up here because you get to see the road, you get to see the big crane, yeah, see the crane? Yeah, I'm still watching the road. You watch the crane. It's swinging right now. How cool is that? Oh, that is so awesome. <laughs> Distraction action. So with my camera mounted there, you get to see the right amount of up and down and, and then the left and right is a little more difficult because I don't want to show a ton of my helmet in frame. That's boring. But with the fairing camera, the reason I'm talking about it today is because I was fussing around with it this morning and I found that my windshield was getting in frame and hopefully now it's not in frame. Uh, I am blessed enough to have the Hero 9 on my fairing there. So it gives me the front screen. Yeah, we'll kick it on. You can see that you can see what I see. And do you see what I see? An idiot, an idiot riding on his Harley, but it's the nicest day of the summer. Okay, so that's enough of that. Anyway, the uh, the camera was not, it was showing the windscreen. And I was like, that's a bunch of Get that out of the way, right? We don't wanna see the windscreen. I've had it show up in a few videos, so hopefully it's not in this one. I could zoom in a little bit, crop it out, that sort of thing. Uh, I don't like to do a lot of that because it's time intensive. So I try to fix it in camera as the pros would say, I are not a pro. I are an amateur. 
But really, it uh, it became an issue that the camera was just not mounted right. And it takes a lot of testing to figure out that one, two, three, four parts have to be in proper alignment for my camera to be in proper alignment. I mean, that's just ridiculous. But it does offer me a certain level of flexibility you don't get with other camera setups. Hey, we get another minute to talk about it. And I've shown I've shown this camera setup before, but uh, it, it bears repeating. There's a lot of new motor vloggers on the scene, and I did a, a community poll post thing, whatever. I'm not really good at it, but I did a community poll. That's it. And I asked people what they wanted help with with motor vlogging. I am getting around to that. I am. I'm also getting around to more coffee. Ah, but anyway. One of the things they asked for was GoPro settings, and I sort of extrapolated from that GoPro placement because maybe somebody hasn't heard that seeing too much sky is bad or not seeing enough sky is bad, so I wanted to help with that. So that's why we did the first half of the video. Go, people, go. <laughs> my two-year-old, my two-year-old was in the car one day and he's like, go, people, go, I'm trying to get home. That's when I realized I say that too much. But the second topic I want to talk about today is the length of your videos. Tighten that stuff up. People have such a short attention span. They want these short ass videos. They want their TikToks and their 30 second whatnots. And yeah, I don't subscribe to that. So I don't do a lot of YouTube shorts. My content doesn't exactly lend itself well to the short form. What are we doing here, folks? People are bonkers today. Wow, cool. And I love how the bike's handling. I reset the shocks over the weekend, video on that, and it's uh, it's handling so much better now. <laughs> Who knew? Wait till I get an actual set of uh, shocks on this thing. I was going to say suspenders, but anyway. People fret about the length of their videos, and I don't fret about the length of my video. It really comes down to what can the audience put up with, and in my case, my audience can put up with quite a lot. Anybody on their phones? Who's on their phone? I'm out checking who's on their phones because I know Ty from Tennessee, shout out, woohoo! Ty from Tennessee likes it when I yell at the other drivers and say, hey, get off your phone. But everybody's not on their phone today. This is great. Nobody's on their phone. Everybody, God, need more coffee. But seriously, I like to cut as much dead fluff out of my videos as I can, but I have found, and you know what? I recorded this a year ago and I threw it away. Jay Lippman. Jay Lippman is a very good DaVinci Resolve, cinematic film editor person who does tutorial videos on YouTube. If you use Resolve and you want to dabble in fusion and stuff and sound design, the guy's great. He's got so many good videos. But anyway, he actually had a problem where his viewership was turning against him. And those are my words, not his. But he saw a drop in his stats when he started cutting out the fluff and just left in the meat of a video. And just in case you missed something earlier in your video and you remember later on, don't be afraid to splice it in <laughs> earlier in the video. <laughs> I forgot to mention that uh, Jay started putting a little bit more of the personality back in his videos and he saw a significant uptick in his watch time and viewership and stuff. So don't be afraid to do that, all right? <laughs> back to the video. <laughs> I happen to subscribe to that wholeheartedly now because without the fluff, my videos would be like three minutes long. And that that would just, they, they wouldn't be as fun. They would be anodyne. I think anodyne is the word I wrote down for that one. And I, I like engaging videos and exciting videos where stuff is happening. I mean, something's always happening because you're moving, right? But like, you know, I'm doing my head checks and I'm watching the other drivers and I'm gonna to try to get in front of this truck. And not rear end the mosquito guy. I really don't wanna mess around with this stupid lane closure up here. They're still doing this. It's been like two months of this nonsense. I'd much rather just putz along a little bit and not have to deal with merging because that doesn't end well for motorcyclists. So anyway, now I've added two minutes of fluff to a video that could have been eight minutes long, but now it's, what, 11 minutes long? What are we at? I'm at 13 minutes of recording, so you guys are at about 10 minutes of watching. Yeah, see, I cut a lot out. But seriously, don't be afraid to cut. And you know, 
it's one of those things I've seen in my videos where I talk about like seven different things, right? And I'm like, ah, oh, this one doesn't even fit the flow of the video anymore. You know what? You may feel like a parent and the video is your baby, but you, you gotta pull a Solomon's on that, King Solomon on that thing. Cut it in half. <laughs> well, <laughs> that took a really dark turn, John. <laughs> yeah, and you know, if it's any more offensive than that, I, I will generally just cut that, that whole line out of a video. But that one was kind of funny. My, my apologies to my Christian viewers, anybody that reads the good book, uh, I meant it as a joke. Yes, blasphemy is not a joke, but, but it is a blast for me. So come on, people go, go people go. Hey, that's where the kid gets it from. All right, cool. So <laughs> I hope you like this video. We certainly had some fun. Make your videos short, test your camera placement. Make sure you can see everything you wanna see and not a freaking dump truck. Anyway, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of playing in traffic on my way to work. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for coming along on the ride with me. Uh, on screen now is going to be some camera tests and a video that YouTube thinks you'll like. It's one of mine, so you probably won't like it. Anyway, bye.